This is how you create a columnar table in Teradata. Create table, I give it a name, open paren, I list all the columns and the data types, close paren, then I have to say no primary index. It's a no PI table, just spread the data evenly and then I say partition by column. I've got a columnar table. Here's another way to create a column or table. Create table, table name, open paren. Here's all of my columns and their data types, close paren. Always no primary index. But now I say I want to partition by column, empno as its own container. Empno is in its own block. I want depno in its own block. And then I want first name, last name, and salary all grouped together because most of the time people query those together. One of the great things about a columnar table is that Teradata will come up with a wide variety of ways to compress each column and it's automatic. Here we're going to create an actual hybrid between a columnar table and a row based table. Take a look at this. We create the table table name, all our columns and their data types, close print, of course no primary index. Partition by column and we go, I want empno. We say no auto compress there because we say, listen, do not compress this. It'll make things a little bit faster in terms of the loading. And I also want to have a column on depno, but then I want to have a row based hybrid where I actually say row and I list the first name and the last name and the salary. This is a combination called a hybrid. Here we're going to create a columnar table with each column also being further partitioned by the order dates month. Okay, So the way we do that is we say create table, table name, open paren. We've got order number, we've got customer number, we've got the order date and the order total, four columns. We then say no primary index, partition by column, and they go, sure, there's going to be four column containers here on each one of these amps. But within each column, I want you to partition by the month of order date, each interval one month, and now you're going to see kind of a dual combination of columnar partitioning and a partition primary index look and feel. Don't load data from an outside source directly into a column or table. You do it into a staging table. So it's a two-step process. So let's say we're taking something from the mainframe and we want to load it eventually to our column or table. So we create a staging table. Create table and staging. We put all the columns in there and we say no primary index. We do the load utility. We load to M staging. Now, we create our table emp columnar, and it's got all our column stuff. It says no primary index, partition by column, and this is a columnar table. Now it's time to do the insert select. Insert into emp columnar, select everything from emp staging, and the data's loaded. When you see a table that's created as a columnar table, and it says no auto compress, as it does down here. What that means is when it's loaded, they do not want Teradata to go through their fancy dancy compression techniques. You see, that's in some ways a mistake, but in some ways it might be appropriate. You see, each column that comes in, Teradata says, I've got a wide variety of ways to make that data smaller. I can compress it based on, let me take a look at it, and how many duplicates there are, how many white spaces there are, things of this nature, but it's going to take longer to load. So, when you say no auto compress, it will load faster because they will do no compression techniques on it. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.